Hello, Les from Thailand here from Retired and Living the Dream. And today's video is going to be about the Thailand visa requirements and what the government are asking for. Finally, the government have come up with a plan. They've come up with a plan to try and get rich, wealthy retirees and working people here. And I'm going to go through all of this lot during this video. Now, these are my own views on it. I wouldn't say I was a clever person, but I've got sort of common sense and just reading through the what they're required it just does not make sense at all and i'd like your opinions on this and i'm sure we will get lots of comments on the comments listed below so please feel free to leave your comments and what you think and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down subscribing would be nice and here we go so the source of this information is from the bangkok post and it's been on several news sites with regard to the meeting with the government and what they require. Um, the government are trying to lure the rich retirees and rich professionals to Thailand. Uh, and I've got my own views on that and I say we'll go through all of these as we're going along. So who are the targeted groups? Now again, this the source was from the Bangkok Post. They're looking for people from Europe, Japan and Korea. Nothing mentioned of India or China, or America. These are the people that, that intend to try and lure into Thailand. According to the government sources, there are over 200 million wealthy foreigners that they're trying to attract, but they're trying to get one million of the 200 million investors and retirees to come and live or work or invest here in Thailand. And the type of people that they're trying to attract are people are on 300 to 400,000 Thai baht per month. So their aim is get them over here in Thailand and get them to spend 100,000 baht per month, every month. Now this is what they think of a wealthy foreigner is gonna spend at least 100,000 baht per month. Now I'm gonna come on later on about this 100,000 baht and I'll do a little bit of maths, I love maths. And I'm gonna show the reason why they haven't got their figures correct. So what type of things are they gonna lure you with to try and get you over here to Thailand. Um, offer a 10 year visa which is open to yourself and your family and children. Offer you if you're qualified to enter on a work visa and they will keep your tax funny enough the same as Thai people. So does that suggest that if you're a foreigner working here you get taxed more? Again might be a bit of dual standards there. So the type of people that they're after are the wealthy global citizens. And the qualifications are a high income and a requirement for a long-term visa is that you're going to invest 500,000 US dollars in Thai bonds. And you need to show an income of at least $80,000 over the past two years. So in effect, you have to be earning $40,000 per year to even qualify to get on the list to be interviewed and be thought about whether they want you to come and live here in Thailand. Another category is wealthy pensioners. Aged over 50 years old, required to invest 250,000 US dollars in Thai bonds and earn at least $40,000 per year or to be able to work in Thailand and provide sufficient income for your retirement and to be considered financially secure, such as digital nomads, employees of large organizations who are close to retirement. And then the fourth category, highly skilled professionals. Now this will make most people laugh, right? Highly experienced experts, researchers, and working in Thailand, working in state agencies, university lecturers, earning, or you've had to have been earning at least $40,000 per year as a lecturer in your home country. So now let's say you want to leave your home country, lecturers in America and the UK, as a basic salary starts at £40,000 and $47,000. So that's as a basic salary. So if you're highly educated and a lecturer and you're getting towards retirement age, you are going to have crept up that promotional ladder 
maybe be a professor in lecturing. So therefore, you're on a lot more than £45,000 or $47,000. Or to even look at coming to Thailand and earning that type of money, impossible. So $40,000 is the equivalent of 110,000 baht per month for a university lecturer here. Teacher's salary, a qualified long-standing teacher is on about 30 to 35,000 baht per month. So a lecturer, treble that amount of money? I don't think so. So is Thailand going to attract highly educated, qualified lecturers and professors for that type of money? I don't think so. So I'm going to put some figures up here and I've done some maths. Now they want to attract these 1 million rich retirees over the next five years. So let's use that as five years as an example. So, and they want these rich people to be spending at least 100,000 baht per month. So again, let's use that as an example, 100,000 baht per month for a 1 million rich foreigners. So that 1 million rich foreigners, the hoops that they have to jump through to be able to get a 10-year visa with the investment of $500,000 or $250,000 if you're a rich pensioner, and you want to retire as a pensioner. So what massive hoops to jump through to be able to get your 10 year visa. And the million people spending 100,000 baht per month. Now let's look at what they've already got. So at present, to qualify for a retirement visa, you need to have either 800,000 baht in the bank or 65,000 baht a month income. Now 65,000 baht a month you're not too far off the 100,000 baht a month that they're wanting people to spend. So why don't they look after the retirees here that are already on 65,000 baht a month and encourage other people at 65,000 baht a month? So if they attracted 1.5 million people to live here on 65,000 baht a month, in essence, that gives exactly the same as trying to get all of those rich foreigners at one million. So in effect, that is the same as attracting one million rich foreigners and getting them to jump through all in hoops, which is easier to get. A million wealthy rich people who can live anywhere in the world, or the people that are on a modest income of 65,000 baht a month who want to retire in Thailand are happy just living here and being retired and living the dream. Now let's go one step further. I've done a video here, how to live on 50,000 baht a month. And I live a good lifestyle on 50,000 baht per month. Again, watch the video and you'll see what type of lifestyle 50,000 baht a month gives you. So even if they reduce their retirement income to 50,000 baht a month, then you only need 2 million people to get the same results as attracting the 1 million rich foreigners to come and live here. So I'm sure, if you made life a lot easier and reduced the income method to 50,000 baht a month, you're easily going to get the 2 million people who will spend the same amount of money as all the hard work is trying to attract a million wealthy rich people. Who, when all said and done, if you've got that type of money, you can live anywhere in the world. So this is just my quick video with regard to how I think the Thai government are backing up the wrong tree and trying to get the wrong type of people in here. Start at the bottom first and then work your way up. Thailand is on its knees as far as the economy is concerned. So they're, they're aiming high and they ain't going to achieve it, in my view, and I might be totally wrong. So I'd like you to leave your comments down below as what you think about Thailand and its aim at attracting the wealthy foreigners. Are you one of them wealthy foreigners that Thailand are trying to attract here? And what makes you think Thailand is worth all that investment? So again, I hope I get a lot of comments on this video. I think it's a, an interesting subject. I've lived here now for 11 years, and for me, Thailand is a backpacker's country. Thailand it really isn't the place for the super rich, wealthy, well-heeled people who can live anywhere in the world and attain the luxuries that that money deserves. I think Thailand falls very short of that. But I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, these wealthy people who say it's fantastic, it's a beautiful place to live in Thailand, leave your comments down below and tell me that I'm wrong. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.